preserving our heritage through music, language, and culture. Exceptionally educational and entertaining. We are Notes of Slovakia online radio show. Vítajte v relácii Halasy Slovenska. With your host Mike Vojtila of the USA and Slavomir Vojtila zo Slovenska. We present for you Slovak music, polka, folk, pop from the past, present and everything in between. We have three great features in every show. Learning Slovak language. Slovak spotlight. Past and present day Slovakia. Tri skvelé výhody, ktoré získate počúvaním tejto relácie. Naučíte sa slovenský jazyk. Vyzdvihnete svoju slovenskú osobnosť a dozviete sa o histórii a súčasnosti Slovenska. You can tune us in right here at notesofslovakia.com on our YouTube channel and on 24/7 polkaheaven.com. If you like our show, like us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash notes of Slovakia. Stay tuned to an action pack Notes of Slovakia show. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the show today. This is Mike Voitilla. Let's begin with our Slovak sampler. What's a Slovak sampler? A Slovak polka, folklore number, and then a modern day song played in Slovakia right now. Here is Lou Sakora and the band with our polka. Bodajže vás vy mládenci. Or you are a young boy polka. Podaj, že vás by mladenci čerti vžali, keď ste by mna na ten tanec nevolali. Bola by som tancovala, aj na cimbal niečo dala, aj vás všetky poboškala. Bola by som tancovala, aj na cimbal niečo dala, aj vás všetky poboškala. Sa mamka tejto noci natrapila, aby som vám nejako len zavdačila. Spiekla múky za tri kolce pre vás, mladci, na koláče len aby som tancovala. Spiekla múky za tri kolce pre vás, mladci, na koláče len aby som tancovala. Nesmierne pamatajte, hlapci na mňa treba zbude po polnoci. Keď sa nový tanec sterne pamatajte, hlapci na mňa treba zbude po polnoci. Time for our folklore number. Wait on me. Dear boy songs from village of Telgart, the Horani region of central Slovakia. Jan Ambrose. Tri piesne od Jana Ambrosea. Hore tým Telgártom, počkaj ma a šuhajko. Oh, no. 
Next, from 2016, played in Slovakia right now, here is... Maria Čírova, Unikát. Pomaly padá dáš, čas uniká. Snažím sa zachovať svoju tvár, lebo v sebe mám unikát. Jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť, milióny ciest, pointa uniká. Stačí len zachovať svoju tvár, lebo v sebe máš unikát. Jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť. Máme vášeň, čo zrie, aj tak sa stále snažíme. Otvoriť niekoľko dvier Nahliadnú do našich tajných skrytých tém Aj keď strácame význam dnes Strácame v tomu jedno Dôkladný príklad Prehľadka snov Dúžby sú zrkadlom Odrazia tón Pomaly padá dáš Čas oniká Snažím sa zachovať svoj tvár Lebo v sebe má Monika Jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť Milióny ciest, pointa uniká Stačí len zachovať svoju tvár Lebo v sebe máš unikát Jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť Máme vášeň, čo zri Aj tak sa stále snažíme Otvoriť niekoľko dví Nahliadnúť do našich tajných skrytých tém keď strácame význam, ne, strácame pohu, je to dôkladný príklad, prehľadka slov, túžby sú zrkadlom, odrazia to. Pomaly padá dáš, čas uniká, snažím sa zachovať svoju tvár, lebo v sebe mám unikát, jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť, milióny ciest, pointa uniká. Stačí len zachovať svoju tvár, lebo v sebe máš unikát, jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá nahradiť. Stále mám to, čo srdce hľadá, úsmav dáva, nečakám, kým príde niečo náhodne. Padá dáš, čas uniká Snažím sa zachovať svoju tvár Lebo v sebe mám unikát Jediná vec, ktorá sa nedá stratiť Milióny ciest, pointa uniká Stačí len zachovať svoju tvár Lebo v sebe máš unikát Chardash. You've heard of that word before, haven't you? It's a Hungarian dance with a slow introduction and a fast, wild finish. Chardash is also a composition by Italian composer Vittorio Monti, a concert piece written in 1904. It is a well-known folkloric piece based on a Hungarian chardash. It was originally composed for violin, mandolin, or piano. There are arrangements for orchestra and for a number of solo instruments. The duration of the piece is about four and a half minutes. It is played by all the gypsy orchestras. It is a standard in Slovakian gypsy bands. 
Let's hear right now the United States Air Force Band with Vittorio Monti's original composition dating back to 1904, Chardashes. Enjoy. <laughs> Just nay, awesome, awesome piece of music there. A standard among the Slovakian gypsy orchestras, one called Chardashes. Time right now for our first feature. Learning Slovak language. Hello, Nazdar, ahoj. I'm Slavomir Vojtila and I will accompany you through the Slovak language course. I really hope you enjoy our show, Notes of Slovakia, full of music and positive mood. Welcome to our language window, where I will introduce you few Slovak words and phrases. Last time I was talking about declension or skloňovanie in a Slovak language. I hope you are not very confused, so today we will take it easier. When uh, something very pleasant w- will happen to you, your friends or family members, for example, new child will be born, you maybe want to know how to name it in a Slovak language. And here we have some Slovak words and phrases. Newborn, novorodenec, novorodenec, a baby, Bábetko, bábetko, 
or more familiar dieťatko dieťatko a child dieťa dieťa father otec otec more familiar is ocko ocko or when you are angry ocko mother matka matka or more familiar mamka or mamička mamka or mamička grandfather starý otec starý otec or more familiar as grandpa detko detko or deduško deduško grandmother stará mama stará mama grandma is babka babka or more familiar babička babička as you see deduško a babička grandpa and grandmother grandma is very happy babička sa veľmi raduje babička sa veľmi raduje be careful not babuška is russian babička is right in slovak grandchild vnúča vnúča grandson vnuk vnuk granddaughter vnučka vnučka pregnancy tehotenstvo tehotenstvo be pregnant tehotná tehotná and childbirth narodenie dieťaťa narodenie dieťaťa toddler batoľa batoľa the son syn syn or more familiar synček synček daughter dcéra dcéra or more familiar dcérenka or dcéruška a boy chlapec chlapec a girl dievča dievča I will give the child a gift prinesiem dieťaťu darček prinesiem dieťaťu darček you see child dieťa I will give the child a gift dieťaťu I believe this lesson was very informative to you so be in touch with our show Notes of Slovakia and don't hesitate to write us a message when you will have any questions, comments or ideas what you will to know or hear in our next show. Me and Mike will be very appreciate to reply you. If you missed some show, you can find us on our YouTube channel or give us like on our Facebook page Notes of Slovakia. Have a nice day. S prijaním pekného dňa sa s vami lúči Slavomír Vojtila. You are listening to Notes of Slovakia with Mike Vojtila and also Slavomir Vojtila right here on 24-7 polkaheaven.com our Notes of Slovakia YouTube channel and our website notesofslovakia.com Počúvate hlasy Slovenska na nocofslovakia.com Back to music, here is... Sága krásy na kráľovej holi od legendárnej mužskej speváckej skupiny Šumiačan.
a very good male singing group from Shumiachan. In 1957, in Cleveland, Ohio, it was Jerry Mazenik and his orchestra. Here is the Happy Moments Polka. Stay tuned, friends. Coming up after this number, our second feature with Dr. Michael Kopanik and Slovak Spotlight. Dobry den. Greetings. I am Dr. Michael Kopanik, or Kopanich in Slovak, and I will be speaking on this short segment of Slovak Spotlight. I am a history professor and teach at the University of Maryland University College. Today I will be presenting a talk about haluki, which Americans typically call stuffed cabbage or pigs in the blanket. The topic came into mind after reading an extensive Facebook post by Jerry Jumba, and most of this presentation comes from his article. Jerry Jumba is a nationally recognized musician who has received numerous awards in the form of grants to further his work as a collector, educator, and practitioner of Carpathian Rusin chants and songs. Jumba writes, arranges, and sings his own music, and even plays on the accordion. And in his own words, Folk art's an expression of the human spirit that rises above the mundane and brings an artistic sense of well-being and connectedness to the goodness of life. As an inheritor of this song tradition, I try to keep its joy and beauty alive and creative. Jerry Jumba was born into a heavily Rusin community north of Pittsburgh. Through his church and apprenticeship with five European-born cantor teachers, he learned the Eastern Christian chant of Carpatha Rus. Uh, that's an area centered in Transcarpathia, Western Ukraine, Eastern Slovakia, and Northern Hungary today. Jumba also collects Carpatha Rus and Eastern Slovak secular songs from master artists. Fluent in these languages and dialects, he has transcribed, performed, and translated the texts since 1969. Jumba created the chant curriculum for the Ruthenian Byzantine Catholic Metropolitan of the USA and has published three song collections. He is a founder of the Carpatho Rusin Society and has established 12 Carpatho Rus music ensembles throughout the USA. 
Also, at the request of the Warhol family, that is Andy Warhol, he served as the cantor for the artist's funeral. Now here it is, the Halupki story. There are different spellings for the word Halupki. Slovaks use the first spelling with a B. There's also a spelling uh, that ends in Y that Slovaks use, also one that ends in I, which Carpeso Rusins use. And then there's an ending in H-O-L-U-B-C-Y. Can you only eat one halupki or two more halupki? Slavo, our other host, Slavo Mir Wojtyla, whose father is Rusin, notes that halupki has only one form, the plural, when talking about the food. No one has ever cooked just one or ate just one, kind of like Lay's potato chips, so it only has a plural form. Halupki, spelled with a B, is the true to good form in the carpatho rusin language. The mispronounced and misspelled words of halupki with a P are misspelled, where the letter P is actually accidentally exchanged for the letter B, and sometimes the letter A is exchanged for the letter O. So the true spelling of halupki is H-O-L-U-P-K-I, or with an ending in a Y in Slovak, too. Spelling is important and should be respected. However you call it, it's good food, halupki. Stuffed cabbage or cabbage rolls are known in carpatho rusin as halupki, meaning little doves, which differs from yet another alternative description, pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket describes an alternative American recipe, and the ingredients do differ. Central to halupki is boiled cabbage, which we call kapusta, rolled and wrapped around grains that are stuffed with the following ingredients, one or more. Barley, which is yachmen in Slovak, and he said uh, yaret. In uh, Eastern dialect in speech county, we said krupi always. Also, it could have buckwheat, which he uh, uh, put down as hrečka, and that is pohanka in Slovak. And more recently, rice, or rizha, or rizh, and it's spelled the same in Slovak and Rusin, according to Slavo. Rice was more recently added because Slovaks typically did not have rice in previous centuries. It's, it's a more modern uh, innovation since trade expanded with China and other places. Rice is the commonly used grain used in halupki in America, though. Barley or buckwheat or rice mixed with mushrooms is more of the commonly shared meatless version of halupki that was made more often than the ground meat version because in Europe meat was scarce. Meatless halupki are also good for the Lenten fast, which if you remember we called pust when we talked about uh, Lent a few months ago. Delicious halupki or smachinyi halupki, which in Slovak we'd say hutne halupki. Some people add chopped onions or use other creative garden enhancements for halupki. Advanced halupki makers can describe numerous alternatives with tasty ingredients. Some recipes add healthy fermented sauerkraut, kvasna kapusta, also known as kishena kapusta, and that gives it a tasty, tangy, and powerful range of cabbage taste. For another type of indigenous-inspired halupki, gourmet cooking, some recipes add herb dill for flavor, and that is boiled on the top of the pot, then it, it is removed when the halupki is fully cooked. Others add tomato soup, paradajkova poyevka. In the uh, Zumba family, they often added about a half a can of Campbell's tomato soup before the company added fructose, and I might add they also uh, shrunk the cans. But uh, my wife typically adds three cans because we like to, to use the juice to add on mashed potatoes, which are gruya in uh, speech dialect or uh, zemyaki in regular Slovak. And some of the Easterners say bandurki too. Some people add a few strips of bacon, slanina, for flavor on the top of the pot, although that's not my preference. 
Each cook adjusts additives to his or her preference and enrichment so that it is savory. Rusins and Slovaks often add tasty whole grain bread and real butter to sop up the cooked cabbage juice with all its ingredients. That way the rich taste of the juice reaches its full potential. No savory cooked cabbage juice is left behind. Again, I said some people like the cabbage juice though. <laughs> Making halupki is a bit labor intensive, but it's worth the effort when one is carefully prepared and it is shared. More often than not, families serve halupki for special events like weddings, baptisms, birthdays, First Holy Communions, picnics, family reunions, weddings, anniversaries, banquets, and funerals. Halupki is a poetic name. Uh, halupki is a description for stuffed and boiled cabbage in the early 1970s in the Keys Rocks, PA, at Holy Ghost Byzantine Catholic Church. Jerry Jumba met Mrs. Marie Romak. Originally, her name was Pani Romak, and she came to the United States from the city of Nieviskoya in Podkarpatska Rus, which is also known as Rusimia or Subcarpathian Rus or Carpato Rus or Karpato Rus, however you want to call it. Podkarpatska Rus is what I've often heard. She attended what they called finishing school just a few miles east of the capital city, the Hlavna Mesto, of Ujarod before she came to the USA. She married Father John Romak and raised a beautiful family around church life. And we have to remember that uh, in Europe, the Byzantine Rite can marry, and Orthodox can marry. Pani uh, Marie Romak also translated Carpatho Rusin songs into American English. In addition, she was also a fine painter, an insightful and caring diplomat, and an inspiration of spiritual nurture in church life. And Jerry Jumba was the musical director and song teacher in the Slavyanya. Uh, Carpeto Rusin Folk Art Ensemble at Holy Ghost Church, he went to Pani Romak for a translation of every song. He also used her translations in his performing arts school concert curriculum at our St. John's Cathedral School in Munhall, PA. One time she was translating the song with the expression Dvahalupki Vodupili. Two doves were drinking water. He, uh, he asked her, that's Jumba, he asked her, why is the word halupki, meaning doves, also known in English as stuffed cabbage? She explained that when a dove or a pigeon sleeps, they curl their wings and tuck their heads inside. This creates a memorable image in nature, and that is the reason for this poetic description of stuffed cabbage across the entire culture. The image of sleeping doves has a similarity in appearance to the wrapping of cooked and seasoned cabbage around a ground meat mixture with rice or barley, or barley mixed with mushrooms, the meatless version, especially for post Lent. Two halupki could be two doves or two stuffed cabbages. These are wonderful, nutritious variations on this recipe. Dobru chut. Bon appetit. At St. John's Cathedral School in Munhall, PA, from 1974 to 1979, Jerry Jumba taught this song, I Love Halupki, to first and second graders. Here is the American version uh, of the uh, Rusin Halupki song, and it's also set in singable English. Now, I say, Ah, ya, Halupki which is Yalubim Halupki in Slovak, and Slavot says that's all, also uh, Rusin. So let's, I will recite this first in uh, Rusin with a Slovak translation, and then we will listen to it. A Yalubu Halupki. Oh, I love my Halupki. Sriškazi u kapusti. Cabbage stuffed with rice for me. Hey, Davai Baniki. Hey, would you give me rolls, selectvaram i orakom, filled with tasty prunes and nuts? Now we will hear a child singing the song recorded with Jerry Jumba's Kruzhok, his Carpatho Rusin Ensemble, and this was done in Cleveland when they made an album of 50 
Carpeto Rusin's Songs and Dances. And this is from 1984. It is a direct and lovely children's song, but also adults have fun singing it with children. And you will hear this children's song with lyrics by Rusin cantor Muddy Kurtz, a.k.a. Michael Kurtz, from McKees Rock, PA, and Munhall, PA. The American English setting and melody are by Jerry Jumba from McKees Rocks, PA. Until next time, do pochucha, which is a way of saying goodbye on the radio, and the traditional words in Slovak upon departing is bo. God be with you. in modern day Slovakia from the year 2017 the song Above the Surface featuring Janais Nad Hladinou 100 dní 100 rán 100 krát si vravím nechám tak veď máš má rád 100 slov 100 rád Friends, are you looking for your ancestors in Europe? Well, when you are, we highly recommend Uri Sisarsik. 
Uri Sasarsik is an archive researcher and tourist guide. He specializes in records and ancestral searches. He speaks Slovak, English, Polish, Czech, Russian, and has excellent working knowledge of Hungarian place names and old Slavonic folk costumes. His easygoing patient style allows him to work well with local officials and priests where diplomacy is a key skill. He has arranged many reunions of Slovak families with their missing family members from the USA, Canada, England, Italy, and France. His services are genealogical searching at the State Archives of Slovakia and providing tour guide as hired by days in Slovakia. For more information on archived researcher and tourist guide Juraj Sasarsik, log on to notesofslovakia.com. Under advertisers, there's a direct link and a bio of your eyes information. Or simply email your eye at J U R A J C I S A R I K at hotmail.com. Once again, his email address is J U R A J C I S A R I K at hotmail.com. And please be sure to tell him you heard his ad right here on Notes of Slovakia online radio show. It's now time for our third feature. Past and present day Slovakia. This is Mike Waitilla for Past and Present Day Slovakia. Here on Notes of Slovakia radio program, We do our best to preserve our heritage through music, our past and present, and everything in between is what we uh, model our music after, playing polka, folk, and pop music. We strive to preserve our Slovak language and culture and exceptionally educational and entertaining programs. Slovakia, or Slovensko, officially the Slovak Republic, is a landlocked country in Central Europe. What we haven't talked about on our programs up to now is where Slovak is and how it began. The Slavs arrived in the territory of present-day Slovakia way back in the 5th and 6th centuries. In the 7th century, they played a significant role in the creation of Samuel's empire and in the 9th century established the Principality of Nitra which was later conquered by the Principality of Moravia century after the dissolution of Great Moravia. Territory was integrated into the Principality of Hungary, which would become the Kingdom of Hungary in 1000. In 1241 and 1242, much of the territory was destroyed by the Mongols during their invasion of Central and Eastern Europe. The area was recovered largely thanks to Bela IV of Hungary who also settled Germans who became an important ethnic group in the area, especially in what are today parts of Central and Eastern Slovakia. After World War I and the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Czechoslovak National Council established Czechoslovakia 1918 through 1939. A separate first Slovak Republic began in 1939 and lasted until 1945. It existed during World War II as a totalitarian, clero-fascist, one-party client state of Nazi Germany. At the end of World War II, Czechoslovakia was re-established as an independent country. After a coup in 1948, uh, Czechoslovakia became a totalitarian one-party socialist state under a communist administration during which the country was part of the Soviet-led Eastern Bloc. Attempts to liberalize communism in Czechoslovakia culminated in the Prague Spring which was crushed by the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia in August of 1968. In 1989, the Velvet Revolution ended the communist rule in Czechoslovakia peacefully. Slovakia became an independent state on January 1st of 1993 after the peaceful 
dissolution of Czechoslovakia, sometimes known as the Velvet Divorce. Slovakia. It is bordered by Poland to the north, Ukraine to the east, Hungary to the south, Austria to the west, and the Czech Republic to the northwest. Slovakia's territory spans about 49,000 square kilometers or 19,000 square miles and is mostly mountainous. The population is over 5.4 million and consists mostly of Slovaks. The capital and largest city is Bratislava and the second largest city is Kosice. The official language is Slovak. The president of Slovakia is presently Susanna Kaputova. Slovakia is a high income advanced economy with a very high human development index, a very high standard of living, and performs favorably in a measurement of civil liberties, press freedom, internet freedom, democratic government, and peacefulness. The country maintains a combination of a market economy with a comprehensive social security system. Citizens of Slovakia are provided with universal health care, free education, and one of the longest paid parental leaves in the OECD. The country joined the European Union on the 1st of May 2004 and joined the Eurozone on the 1st of January 2009. It's part of NATO and many others the council of europe and although regional income inequality is high 90 percent of citizens own their own homes in 2019 slovak citizens had a visa free or visa on arrival access to 180 countries and territories ranking the slovak passport 10th in the world as part of Eurozone, Slovak legal tenders in the Euro, the world's second most traded currency. Slovakia is the world's largest per capita car producer with a total of 1,090,000 cars manufactured in the country in 2018 alone and is the sixth largest car producer in the European Union. The car industry represents 43% of Slovakia's industrial output and a quarter of its exports. Ethnic groups in Slovakia. About 80% is made of Slovaks, 8.5% Hungarians, 2% in Romas, and the rest made up of Czechs, Rusins, Ukrainians, Germans, Poles, Moravians, and unspecified. Slovakia has abundant cultural and historical fortified and stately buildings. There are more than 100 castles and at least double this number of manor houses built in different historical eras. Slovakia is a country with high mountains and picturesque valleys. Mountains of Slovakia are characterized by large differences in altitude and unique relief. They include nine national parks, 14 protected landscape areas, the High Tatras, the highest mountain range in Slovakia, is among the most visited and represents the isolated nature of the sample Slovak Carpathian Mountains. For more information on Slovakia and the language, well, continue to listen to Notes of Slovakia right here on our website, on our YouTube channel, and on 24-7 polkaheaven.com. We encourage you to tell your family, friends, and relatives all about our program. And we will promise you to bring you the best in Slovakian music, language, and culture. Speaking of music, from Trenton, Slovakia, time for some polka music. The Sardika polka. Dichová kapela Skalanka z Trenčína a ich Šarišská polka.
Taken from a live recording in Slovakia. Well, this is Mike Wojtyla, and this is going to do it for today's edition of Notes of Slovakia. Dakujem. Thank you so much for tuning in to our program. Until next time, do pochucha, which is a way of saying goodbye on the radio, and the traditional words in Slovak upon departing is Boh. God be with you. So be in touch with our show Notes of Slovakia. And don't hesitate to write us a message when you will have any questions, comments or ideas what you will to know or hear in our next show. Me and Mike will be very appreciated to reply you. If you missed some show, you can find us on our YouTube channel or give us like on our Facebook page Notes of Slovakia. Closing out from Eastern Slovakia, Zemplin area, I was mad, folklore number. A nádherná ľudová pieseň s pišskom nárečí, šalená jabula. Have a nice day. S prijaním pekného dňa sa s vami lúči Slavomír Vojtila.